call a meeting to order and call on Councilor Brown, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All row. Councilor Brown. Here. Councilor Jennings. Here. Councilor Broughton. Councilor Watson. Here. Councilor Barton. Mayor Loveless. Here. We have a quorum to do business. Approval of the December 13th meeting minutes. The mayor, I have a motion to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Watson, a second by Councillor Jennings to approve the December 13th, 2021 regular meeting minutes. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. The minutes for December 13th, 2021 are approved. On a new business, um, City of Bruton, employee of the quarter, and I'm going to call on Connie Baggett to present that. Good afternoon, Mayor Loveless and counselors. Good to be with you today on a, an occasion like this. We can uh, read, and you can read along with me, the um, employee of the quarter. This person came to town as part of a transplanted family here and put down amazing strong roots and help to make Bruton a much better place. Anytime you see a social media video, if it catches your attention and tells the story of Bruton, its people, places, history, or events unfolding in real time, chances are that footage came from the work of Steve Layton, our employee of the quarter. Steve Layton is officially our public lands manager and representative for economic development here in Bruton. Both roles he has mastered over the four and a half years he spent with the city. Layton moved to Bruton as a second grader when his family relocated here from Montgomery. His father helped manage the AT&T microwave tower nearby that facilitated communication for the U.S. president traveling by air. As a kid, he watched the construction of the communications <coughs> fortress on Hi Alabama Highway 41. Layton graduated from T.R. Miller in 1975 and played tennis at what was then Jefferson Davis, De Jefferson Davis <coughs> Junior College, earned an art scholarship. He finished at the University of West Florida with a degree in studio art and a marketing minor. He went to work at T.R. Miller Mill Company as a marketing advertising rep, but soon helped lead sales as Hurricane Frederick recovery put a high demand on lumber. He quickly honed his skills as a hunting guide and wildlife photographer and stayed with the company for 16 years. Next, he was a partner in an outdoors television program produced in various hunting and fishing locales and edited in downtown Mobile. He took the show from beta tape to digital images. He left the show and two weeks later accepted an offer to work with the city of Bruton. He said, I started in August 2017 using cameras, drones, and posting to social media platforms, Layton said. The idea was to capture the wonderful things about our city for residents, but also to market us to an audience around the country. We, re we reach markets from California to Connecticut and Minnesota to Texas. All those platforms used strategically helped get us Prevalis, Frontier Technologies, multiple new retail businesses and restaurants. People started noticing. Video impacts us all, and we learn to tell a story quickly, engage viewers, and get a message across. Layton said showcasing the city has been challenging, but for different reasons than one would expect. He said there's always more material for video than anyone can get to. Deciding what to focus on next is sometimes difficult. We have plenty of things that aren't typical for a city our size. Wildlife parks, phenomenal Christmas decorations, parades, antique fire trucks, concerts every month and events that make memories. We're different. Those videos help show that off. It holds a mirror to people who live here and a window to those who don't yet. Huh. Layton is active in Delta Regional Authority leadership for the Southeast, Escambia Industrial Development Board, and has recently taken on duties in building code enforcement. He and his wife, Vivian, are members at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. He has two daughters, Laura and Emily, and three grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Layton.
Mayor and Council, I want to thank you for allowing me to work for the city of Bruton. Uh, aside from y'all, I don't think anybody loves Bruton as much as I do. Well, maybe Connie. But uh, it has been a pleasure to, uh, this This time has just flown by, and y'all have given me the, the tools that I need to do what I do, and uh, I thank you for your support and what I do. And uh, telling the story of Bruton is just a fun story to tell, and anybody that'll listen long enough, I'll tell it to them everywhere I go. But I thank you for your support. Thank you, Steve. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next item is a report from the Retail Development Committee, and I call on their chairman, Councilor Joe Watson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the committee met on last Wednesday, uh, which consists of myself, uh, Councilor David Jennings, uh, Councilor Fees Broughton, uh, Lorraine Davis, Jerry Kelly Jr., and Renee Marshall. Uh, what came before us was a request from Ms. Evelyn Daniels and for additional money along with Ms. Glennie Carter. We met, we looked at the pros and cons of it and, and we see that we can help them out with this venture. Uh, Ms. Daniels, she was asked for 10,000 and Ms. Carter for 20. So the recommendation on the committee to bring before the council is to, um, to present, by Ms. Present, is to agree to let them receive the funds from the city. And I think uh, you've got a resolution. I do. We have two resolutions. Um, resolution 21-1228-1 is the first one. May I offer a motion to approve resolution number 21-1228-1? Second. I have a motion by Councilor Watson, a second by Councilor Jennings to approve resolution 21-1228-1. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilor Brown? Yes. Councilor Jennings? Yes. Councilor Watts? Yes. Resolution 21-1228-1 is approved. And you got a second resolution. Resolution 21-1228-2. May I have a motion to approve resolution number 121? Dash one two two eight dash two. Second. I have a motion by Councilor Watson, a second by Councilor Jennings to approve resolution two one dash one two two eight dash two. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilor Brown. Yes. Councilor Jennings. Yes. Councilor Watson. Yes. Resolution two one dash one two two eight dash two is approved. This week, uh, Bruton and I would say the nation and possibly even say the, the world lost a, uh, a man that, that spent his entire life trying to make a better world, Dr. E.O. Wilson. And we uh, have a park named in his honor. Uh, he spent some, uh, some of his youth here in Bruton um, and visited Bruton on more than one occasion, and I've got a statement I just want to read into the, to the minutes. Dr. Wilson was larger than life in the world of science, from sociobiology to ants to conservation of species. He never forgot his boyhood home in Bruton and was kind to lend us his name for a park dedicated to his ideals and preservation. He was generous to donate to a scholarship fund in his name for local college-bound students and was a joyful person in conversation. I don't know that we will ever see a person who used his mind more effectively to impact the greater good, and his legacy will live on in Bruton. Mm -hmm. And with that,